So we're looking at the 92 Galazzo Cole. 92 rated compared to his 89. We're seeing an 86, an 89, and now a lovely triple upgrade on top. We've had two pace, 13 shooting. Everything's all about shooting. you got to love the Galazzo. Then obviously you've got the passing at five, four on everything else. That's a decent upgrade. Obviously when it comes to the difference in price, it's only about 100k now, which is crazy in itself. But as progression goes, we can imagine that that's just what happens. Things get cheaper for better rating. It's what we see over team of the season. And then obviously into footies as well. We have gone with the anchor form. It puts him controlled explosive, 96 pace, 95 defending, and 90 physical. A 94 left back. Now, the only issue I have with an Ashley Cole is we have got so many left backs so he is going to have to perform out of his skin he has got jockey and whipped pass as the play style pluses with another seven play styles as well we've got great composure agility balance at the top defending pretty good it's only really heading that kind of lets him down and a little bit less on the strength but that does go to 85 with the anchor passing wise looks good shooting looks like a decent upgrade finishing's absolutely on the floor which for a left back i don't personally like overlapping that much so it's it's not a problem to me. So let's see. Is he better than Rolfo? Is he better than Baca? Or even Havertz? Ashley Cole, I see you there. Oh, he's gone for the... Didn't they patch that? Like, that's crazy. Like, Pires as well, of all people. Like, Pires is not scoring from there in any other game mode. <laughs> that's just terrible in itself. Is this guy, like, unlocked prime Pires or something that I don't know about? Let alone having Messi team of the year there as well. Come on, Cole. I need I need something from you. A little turn. Lovely. Feels very agile. That's, that's decent left stick. You could whack him up left mid. Why not? We get a little bit of a pass. Nice. Okay. Though that, that's a nice surprise. That left stick felt very very agile straight off the bat, which is nice. Have we got any overlapping ability from Cole then? That's. It's what it should be. Get the touch on the inside. He's still got the ball for us. Cole. Take it. Oh, uh, but to be fair, that's fine. As long as he can block Pires any shadow. He's got the jockey as well. That That's the one that I do like. And I've just found myself outclassed every step of the way here. Big tackle from Cole. Salah is set down. That's what we want to see. The question is... Is, is he really going to be better than all of the left backs that we've got? Like, we have... Oh, that's poor. We have so many left backs, it's unreal. And, like, I've not even spoke about Roberto Carlos yet, let alone Lazaro Zou. But Bompast is a left back, I'm pretty sure. They, they, there literally is a, an abundance. The one that I am surprised I haven't seen anything from it's like almost he went off a cliff because last year he was meta and that's cap de Villa. how on earth are we letting felix in that was cap de Villa. cap de Villa was so meta last year and he has literally had no love i think he's been able to do one or two evolutions and it's not really put him in the great light so uh, th there's just a lot of choice. And to be honest, I would probably just go with an SBC left back or if you've managed to pack one. And that's not even talking about Teo. Sakina is a very good one. Ultimate birthday or not. There, there is a lot of option. And I don't know if Cole, maybe at the price is going to be quite good. But I don't know if he, ta if he takes the limelight for a left back. I'm going to watch him here though. See what he's got pace for pace with Salah. We've got the anchor on him. So his pace should be decent enough, really. It is just going to be a passing. He's going to look for that finesse. You can see it a mile off. Into Cole. Can we have a little bit of a run with him? If we can. Oh, he's been double teamed left, right, and center. How did that not go out? Now get the recovery back. Oh, that's a great first touch. He's going to look for the pass. Not a chance. I'm going to let him take the touch, though. And Virgil, that's what we need. That, that's what we need from Cole. A bit, a bit of passion in it. That goal in. Cole taking a step. What's his across ball like? Oh, nice. Good accuracy. Kind of what you'd expect. Why on earth is Coleman taking Crouch's thunder there? If I'm crossing a ball, it's not to the 5 foot 10 French left mid. It's for the 6 7 giant, please. What's he doing? Is he going to throw it or kick it? I don't know if there is anything special with him, to be honest. I think 
he's definitely good. Like his his on the ball composure feels fantastic, but when it comes to actual play, I, I don't know. I, I I think there's there's not anything that's grabbing me and being like, okay, this is a left back I need. Like if he goes cheaper and cheaper, then then fair enough. I, I think that would then be more effective for the price. But if you've already got the SBCs, I don't see it being that much of an issue. Whipped pass. I, to be honest, I don't even really get the whipped pass. I, don't, I just don't cross it. So it means absolutely zero to me for crossing. Good play. Good ball. And away. Looking for that return option. Oh my. Get that pace. At least I know full well he's not going to be completely outbeaten by pace. So that that's always a nice thing. That wasn't a was it? No, I say it's freak. You're freaking for them. Beautiful, but that's what I mean. Pace wise, absolutely brilliant. That, that that's fine. But then that I don't think really is a bonus anymore because everybody's got ninety pace. It seems like there's no. That's poor. There's no like at, like trophy for for having ninety pace. So it's just a standard. So that that is what it is. Any in in every card now. Cold, cold, nice. See that ball out. Even the strength battle. That's what you want from this. See that? See, I feel like I give him a hard time. And, and it, it's only because of how many left backs we have. It's not totally down to him. Like I'd say the same for any new left back. Especially if they're not in the top of the top. Like if they're not you like a new Roberto Carlos. Like they're already top of the field. So it, he isn't bad. Like don't, don't get me wrong. He's, he's most definitely not bad. He wouldn't be... At the position he is, if he if he is that bad, it'd be 100k. So that's always something to always look at. But when it comes to is he worth it, is the difference because if you've got SBCs done, he's not worth it because you've already got that position and there's nothing crazy different from this left back to another. So then with Ashley Cole, he's coming in at four four seven. Is he better? That's going to be the big comparison because when we do look at somebody like. I can't really compare. Can I compare him? Let's see Backer go for a 90, to be honest. And then I kind of want... Rolfo's far too good. Say we go with someone like a Lazarazu, because there's no point putting him against uh, Teo, Roberto, Carlos, because they're literally double the price anyway. So in terms of what we're getting, whipped pass, nice. We've got that. Jockey. We've got slide tackle, quick step. That's fine. We've got 92 pace. Across the board, pace is good. 4-4, which is good as well. So he is technically one up there. Uh, I don't really care about shooting, to be honest. Passing, 88, 88, 87. That's fine. 88, 86, 88. 91, 85. 83, 84. 89, 88. So he's more towards your Lazarazu more than anything. He's got the ability to, to be up there with the best of them. And this is why... I'm not slating specifically him because I don't think any left back really kind of compares to a Furlan Mendy, a Teo, a Sakina. Rolfo kind of more in midfield, to be fair. But even then, Bompasta, the stats are outstanding. So if you've already got one of these, there's no real need for him. That That's the issue. He's going to be a great backup left back regardless. But again, if you've already got Rolfo, if you've got Baka, if you've got Havertz, you don't need to buy him. If you was to pack him, it's a different story. I think he's got good defending. His pace is decent enough. Like I said, with his agility balance, the ball control on him is fantastic. That's one thing I did know, oh, did notice in comparison to most of the other left backs. Very good on the ball, which is hard to get sometimes. Being comfortable as a defender is very difficult in the game, especially to start with. Now we're starting to get into this end game tier icons, heroes, players, where we're starting to see the absolute massive upgrades across the board like we're seeing a big upgrade on a card that's already 89 into that 92 we had the anchor to him 96 pace fantastic great defensive physicality as well with the 95 and 90 he's not going to be known for the heading too much but in terms of the card itself i think he's he's good but he's not s tier in my opinion let me know down below though in yours i'm interested to know what people think i had very similar opinions to the Centurion. I just couldn't get along with him. I didn't think he was anything special. I felt like he could defend, definitely. But he's not going to wow me off the ball like how Rolfo Backer, how the, the older Havertz has done in the past. But let me know what your thoughts are. Roberto Carlos all the way for me. But he is twice the price. Peace.